The digestive system is responsible for processing food, breaking it down into usable proteins, carbohydrates, minerals, fats, and other substances, and introducing these into the bloodstream so they can be used by the body. These substances provide the raw material for building, repairing, and controlling your body's systems. The digestive process begins at the mouth, where food is chewed and broken down into smaller parts. Enzymes in your saliva begin digestion. The chewed food is carried down the esophagus in peristaltic or contractile waves to the stomach, where strong acids dissolve it. The semi-digestive food, called chyme, passes through the pylorus, a gate-like muscle at the bottom of the stomach to the small and large intestines. Within the long convoluted canals, the nutrients are absorbed from the chyme into the bloodstream, leaving behind the unusable residue. The residue passes through the colon, where most of the water is absorbed into the bloodstream, and into the rectum, where it is eliminated from the body. As the chewed food enters your stomach, the gastric glands secrete hydrochloric acid and the enzymes pepsin, renin, and lipase, which help digest carbohydrates, proteins, and fats in food. The average stomach holds about a quart and can stretch to hold more. When empty or nearly empty, the stomach contracts to form folds called rugi in its lining. It was once thought that the contractions of the stomach, when empty, was what caused the sensation of hunger. It is now known that the primary impulse of hunger is due to low glucose levels in the bloodstream. However, the contraction of the stomach can often be felt. This and the grumblings heard as food is passed through the lower end digestive tract also serve to remind one of sensation of hunger. The small intestine is responsible for completing digestion and for absorbing the usable products into the bloodstream. It is a coiled, narrow tube about 20 feet long. Food enters the duodenum, the first part of the small intestine from the stomach. Bile and other digestive juices are deposited into the duodenum from the gallbladder, pancreas, and liver to further digest the food. The digesting food is passed in wave-like contractions, called peristaltic waves, through the ileocecal orifice to the large intestine. As the digesting food travels through the small intestine, it passes millions of tiny projections, called villi, which line the wall of the intestine. The villi absorb proteins and carbohydrates into their capillaries and pass them on to the liver for metabolic processing. Any unabsorbed food materials are stored in the large intestine until the body can partially reabsorb water from it. The remains are then passed along to the anus for elimination. The large intestine is divided into eight sections, the appendix, the cecum, the ascending colon, the transverse colon, the descending colon, the sigmoid colon, the rectum, and the anus.